Okay. So all of you have the maps. Yesterday's class, I told you to get the maps. Hope all of you have the maps. How many of you have the maps with you? Okay. Yes. So I have sent, sent you many maps now. So in yesterday's class in uh, Telegram channel, I have sent it. Right? So please go to that. Please go to that. Those maps, blank world map. First go to the blank world map. Please identify all the continents. Please identify all the continents. All the continents. Asia. Africa. North America. South America. Fifth is Antarctica here. Antarctica. Okay. Sixth is Europe. Europe is separated from Asia by Ural Mountains. How many of you heard of Ural? Raise your hand. Europe is separated from Asia by Ural Mountains. Okay, Ural. Okay, all of you please remember this. Ural Mountains. Okay, then seventh is Australia. Now you should say Oceania. Australia and all these neighboring islands is called as Oceania. Please write. You should not say Australia now. You should say Oceania. Seventh is Oceania. Seventh is Oceania. Now, Australia and neighboring islands are all called as Oceania. Eighth one, Zealandia, the newly discovered continent, Zealandia. 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 So how many of you heard of this Zealandia? It's a new continent. Yes. Seventh is Oceania. Australia and neighboring island is Oceania. Eighth is Zealandia, which includes New Zealand. New Zealand and New Caledonia area is called as Zealandia. Done? Please raise your hand once you are done writing the names. Okay, good. Identify the oceans now. Please identify the oceans. Use blue ink. Use blue ink. Identify Pacific Ocean. Pacific Ocean. Pacific Ocean. Atlantic Ocean. Indian Ocean. Okay, first is Pacific. Second is Atlantic. Third is Indian Ocean. Okay, Indian Ocean. Fourth is Southern Ocean. Antarctic Ocean. Around Antarctica is Antarctic Ocean. Southern Ocean or Antarctic Ocean. Fifth one is Arctic Ocean. Fifth one is Arctic. All of you write the ocean names. 
प्लीज राइज योर हैंड वंस यूर डन वंस यू कंप्लीट यू राइज योर हैंड okay very good so that means all of you know the continent names now drop prime meridian now prime meridian in equator go to uk locate uk london then locate prime meridian i told you there are 360 meridians out of which prime meridian is most important meridian right prime meridian through europe and africa prime meridian 0 degree longitude please write prime meridian Tashiba, please stop writing on the screen. Okay, if you write something on the screen, I can, I'll get to know who is writing. Okay, don't write anything. Now, draw equator, please. Draw equator. Equator. Zero degree latitude, or zero degree par parallel. Zero degree parallel is equator. Zero degree longitude, or zero degree meridian is prime meridian. Done. Okay, you can check your check your atlas. You can refer your atlas. you can refer this map you can see that here see this is equator equator okay see here equator this is prime meridian how many of you are able to see this this prime meridian 0 degree so please mark 15 15 In your atlas, forty-five, sixty, seventy-five, ninety, one hundred five, one twenty. All this is east, east. This side is west. This side we have twelve time zone. Okay, one twenty, one thirty-five, one fifty, one fifty, one sixty-five, one eighty. All of you got it. These are twelve time zone. This side, twelve time zone. You count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, twelve times on this side. You divide your map into twelve parts. This side. The last should be one eighty. The last line should be one eighty. This side also you do that. Fifteen, thirty, forty-five, sixty. This all west. Then seventy-five degree. Okay, next ninety. One hundred five. One twenty. 
180. So what is 180 plus 180? 360. We are getting the entire global. Okay, here zero to 180. Here zero to 180. What is that? 180 plus 180 is 360. Entire Earth. We are getting the entire Earth. How many of you are able to understand that? So we have 12 time zone to the west, 12 time zone to the east. 12 time zone to the west 12 time zone to the east okay How many of you are able to understand what we are doing? Or also, if you are finding it difficult, you can text me. Don't worry. If you have any doubt, please text me. Okay. I request you to type in the chat. Okay, you can directly chat with me. So don't worry. You just have to add 15. That's it. How did we get this 15? Yesterday's class. Remember, mathematical calculation, I told you one rotation is 360 degree. Correct. In 24 hours. In one hour, 360 divided by 24, 15 degree. Got it? 15 degree. 15. So 15 plus 15 plus 15, we are jumping. 15 degrees, we are jumping. Every 15 degree, we are jumping. Because each 15 degree is equal to one hour, one time zone. So in your atlas, atlas, uh, Dania, you can see in my in the map I'm showing. The screen I'm showing, you can see it is equal, right? You have to divide. Sometimes uh, the map, uh, the printout you have taken will be wrong. So it will be not properly aligned. It will not be centered. So it should look like that uh, Western Hemisphere, Eastern Hemisphere are not equal. It looks like that because your map and the printout will not be properly taken out. Correct? I think many of you are facing that problem. But see in my map on the screen, on the screen it is equal, right? It is equal. Clear? That discrepancy is there in the printout, Xerox. So what you have to do when you take a printout, you have to take the image, put it into the document, then, then you have to uh, align it properly and take a printout. Uh, please uh, see your atlas. In atlas, I think your page number is 100. So 102, 104, 105, you check in your atlas. Clear, all of you? Shall I continue? Huh. Notice that, notice that this is east. This is east. East, this is all west. We know that earth rotates from west to east. Correct, earth rotates from west to east. So can I say sun rises in the east? Sun rises in the east. See, Japan is here. Land of rising sun. Japan. And all these islands will receive the sunlight first. Sun rises in the east. Correct? So, so the day begins here in the eastern part. The new day begins here in the eastern part always. In the eastern part, the new day always begins here. Okay, new day. New day. Okay, so all the places to the east of this 
from here prime meridian to this side will be ahead in time ahead because the day always begins this side whereas all the places to the west are behind in time because they are in the west that means india now is in east now as a result we are facing day we are having day now whereas this side will be night now america will be night how many of you understand this because they are on the other side of the globe notice india here on the globe notice india here see my hand i am showing you india here okay all of you see this india india here india here we are facing day day now day the opposite side will be night here america will be night here. all of you got it america will be night please remember that so next when telling the time well let's say we take today we take today only okay i am going to take 9th july friday please see this all of you all of you see the screen all of you see the screen this is very important i want all of you to see the screen 9th july friday please tell me if you agree one day is 24 hours correct one day is 24 hours okay correct so every date date and day always changes around 12 midnight exactly around 12 midnight the date changes agree all of you agree that means 8 becomes 9th midnight thursday becomes friday exactly at midnight correct that means uh, 9th will become 10th when tonight 12 o'clock tonight 12 o'clock see tonight 12 o'clock it will become midnight 12 it will become it will become Night, uh, 10th July, Saturday, Saturday. That means from midnight to midnight, it is 24 hours. So always the calendar day and the date changes at midnight. All of you agree with this? Yes or no? Okay. At exactly midnight, the date will change. Day will change. Okay. Somewhere in the middle is noon. 12 o'clock noon. 12 noon today afternoon correct 12 noon is called as midday 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 because it divides the day into two parts agree all of you agree 12 o'clock noon is the time considered as midday it divides the day into two parts this is the time when the sun is exactly over our meridian so we call it as meridian sun sun is exactly at 12 it will be above our head above our head like zenith can i say zenith zenith means exactly above our head so sunrise will be vertical can i say uh, shadow will be minimum shadow will be minimum at 12 how many of you agree ha huh. so you know meridian sun so whenever whenever you have to talk about time so now it is interesting please see whenever you have to talk about time from midnight to noon midnight to noon you have to say am means anti meridian please see the spelling anti meridian meaning please write meaning before noon see the spelling anti a n t e okay a n t e means before noon okay before the meridian sun before the meridian sun am anti meridian so after noon is pm post meridian how many of you i have understood this what do you mean by post means after after so remember the word before noon after noon and before noon after noon so many students don't know this so they don't know when to use am when to use pm so they'll be struggling they'll be struggling in the class so i'm teaching you that hope all of you got it so what is the time now what is the time now exactly now what is the time 9th july friday 
वट इज द टाइम प्लीज टेल मी थ्री थ्री मेरेडियन मेरेडियन यार हु इज दिस Who is this asking? Varun, Meridian, M E R I D A N, not Meridian. Okay, Meridian. See the spelling I have written. Meridian. Here, check the check the spelling here. Meridian. From yesterday's class, we are using it. Meridian. Okay, you can see the spelling here. Meridian. So three p.m. now time three p.m. That means after the noon it is three three. Ha ha. Okay, not uh, Latin part. Okay, just remember meridian is the line connecting north to south. Okay, meridian. Okay, I got your doubt. Okay, so all of you got it. So when to use a.m. from midnight till. From midnight twelve till afternoon, you have to use AM. Exactly twelve noon onwards, you have to use PM. Okay, exactly twelve noon onwards, you have to use PM. Post clear, clear. So now the time is three PM. Where in India? Correct, three PM in India now. 3 p.m. We are we are in India. So when it comes to India now, notice that India is here between 75 and 90. Exactly 75 and 90 is 15 degree gap. How many of you agree? 15 degree. 75 to 90, 15 degree है यहाँ पे. Exactly 75 to 90 is 82 and a half. 82 and a half is the Indian Standard Meridian. How many of you heard of this? 82 and a half. Eighty-two and a half degree east is Indian Standard Meridian. Indian Standard Longitude is eighty-two and a half. Agree? Agree? Exactly seventy-five to ninety is fifteen degree. You take half of it. Half of it is eighty-two and a half. That is our Standard Meridian. Indian Standard Meridian. Indian Standard Meridian passing through Mirzapur. How many of you are from Mirzapur? Mirzapur, yes, Mirzapur. All of you know now. Mirzapur is a very popular town in UP. Okay. Okay. So, Mirzapur. All of you know the name. Eastern UP, Allahabad, Mirzapur. Okay. Okay, eighty-two and a half is our standard meridian. So now, please see, this is the time zone for India. Okay, whenever we have to talk about time, the entire country follows this line because it equally divides India into two parts. See, two parts. India is divided into two parts here. Okay, equally divides India into two parts, eighty-two and a half. So this is our standard meridian. How many of you got this eighty-two and a half Indian standard meridian? So can I say this line? This line passes through UP, Uttar Pradesh, Allahabad, Mirzapur area, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Odisha, Andhra Pradesh. Five states. It passes through five states in India. Eighty-two and a half degree passes through five states in India: Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Odisha, Andhra Pradesh. Okay, Andhra Pradesh. Notice that Indian time is east. East. We are ahead of London. We are ahead of GMT. Please remember GMT, Greenwich Meridian Time. Across the world, the time is calculated with respect to Prime Meridian. So we call it a GMT. What is GMT? Greenwich Meridian. 
Greenwich Meridian Time. That's the normal pronunciation. But I told you yesterday, W is silent. Greenwich Meridian Time. From Greenwich, notice that we are one hour, two, three, four, five and a half. I told you, each 15 degrees, one hour. Each 15 degrees, one hour. So, we are five hours, 30 minutes ahead of GMT. How many of you agree? We are five hours, 30 minutes ahead of GMT. Or GMT plus 530. How many of you agree with this? Yes or no? So, what is Indian time zone? GMT plus 530. GMT plus 530. Yes, Nandini, very good. GMT plus 530. So, all these are very important. And geography is a very interesting subject. So, if whatever you learn here, everyone uses it. In history, we have to use this. In politics, we have to use this. Economics, we have to use this. When you travel, you have to use this. Transportation, trade, everywhere we have to use time zones. So, what you learn is a universal subject here. It is a life science, I can say. Geography is just like physics, chemistry, biology. Learning this will help you a lot. Okay, I'm telling you. I'm not telling you because I'm a geographer. I'm telling you because this is how it is. Since I know geography well, I can also explain history. I can also teach you economics. I can also teach you polity. So that's how it is. Other teachers can't explain geography. But if you know geography, you can explain others. Okay. When you come to the campus, you'll notice that I will take some of the classes of IR, international relations. I'll take some of the classes of world politics. I'll take some of the classes of economics. Okay. So this is a universal subject here. Very interesting. Very interesting topic. Okay. So please remember that, friends. So all those students who are, uh, have a GP, history, economics, political science, I request you to change one of them to geography. Okay. Make it a GP or something like that. Because we have practicals. History, political, science, economics don't have practicals. Geography has practicals. So uh, we have to learn about a lot of things about our surroundings and all. It's very interesting. Okay. And HGP students will get to travel with me for trips and all. HGP and all uh, will not have the trip option. Okay. Geography, if you have, so it will be beneficial. Okay. Think about it. Now let's come back to our class. Let's come back. We are five hours, 30 minutes ahead of GMT. So in, you know that. So now I told you that we have 3 p.m. Friday. 3 p.m. Friday. 3 p.m. Friday now. Okay. So that is the time you told me. 3 p.m. Friday. We'll take 3 p.m. only because uh, we'll not take the changes. Once it's easier to understand. Okay. 3 p.m. Friday, 9th July. 9th July is the time. 9th July. 9th July, Friday. Okay. Now, if India is time is 3 p.m. now, what is the time in London? What is the time in London here? So whenever you are going west, you subtract here. Whenever you are going east of some area, you add. That's it. That's the clue. West, subtract, east, add. Okay. West, subtract, east, add. So notice that here. Half an hour here. Half an hour means 2.30 here. 2.30, 1.30, 12.30, 30, 10.30, 9.30. .30. Check it out, please. 9.30 a.m. now. Nine thirty a.m. Nine thirty a.m. That means we have just finished our lunch here in India. People in London would have finished their breakfast now. How many of you agree? People in London. Okay, let me check again. So it is uh, two thirty, one thirty, twelve thirty, eleven thirty, ten thirty, nine thirty. It is nine thirty. Nine thirty. Varun, check here. Properly. Okay, it is nine thirty. So in India, we are finished our lunch. In London, people will be having breakfast, or they, have, they would have finished their breakfast. Along this line, along this line. All these countries will have 9.30 a.m. How many of you agree? UK, France, Spain. UK, France, Spain, Algeria, Mali, Ghana, Burkina Faso. All these countries will have 9.30 now. Time. India has 
3 p.m. 3 p.m. now. Okay. Remember, what if what is the time in Perth, Australia now? Here, Perth. Perth, Australia. How many of you know Perth is in West Australia here? They are, they are two and a half hours ahead of us. See, half an hour. One, two. Two and a half hours, two and a half hours ahead of us. That means 3.30. Here, 3.30. 4.30. 5.30. In Perth, it is 5.30. 5.30 p.m. 5.30 p.m. Here. Okay. 5.30 p.m. Sydney. Sydney is here. Sydney is two hours. So 5.30, 6.30, 7.30. p.m. New Zealand. New Zealand here. Wellington. 8.30 now. 8.30 here. 8.30. That means the people in New Zealand will be having dinner now. How many of you agree? 8.30 p.m. The people in New Zealand will be having dinner. People in India, Bangladesh will be having lunch. Okay, India, Bangladesh, Pakistan, they'll be having lunch. And uh, people in London will be having breakfast. Hope all of you have understood what I'm trying to say. It is fun. Diksha, Diksha, we are five hours, 30 minutes. Yeah, Diksha. Diksha and Varun, please check. We are five hours, 30 minutes ahead, not four hours. Diksha, you're wrong. We are five hours, 30 minutes. Please check. Here only you can check. Now I told you we are GMT plus 5.30. 5.30. GMT plus 5.30. 5 hours, 30 minutes. Yeah. Check it out. Diksha, you got it? Okay. 5 hours, 30 minutes. 5 hours, 30 minutes. Okay. Varun, you got it? Ah, okay. So, any doubt, you let me know. Okay. Anyone, anyone, any doubt, you let me know. So, this is fun, right? So, now, let's say your friend is in London and other fellow is in Wellington, New Zealand and you are in India. You are in India. So, you call him. You have a conference call. Nowadays, you can, you have a conference call on WhatsApp and Telegram and all. Let's say I am doing a, a, a WhatsApp call, conference call to my friends in London and Wellington. So, this fellow in London is saying, I am having my, enjoying my breakfast. And you are saying, I'm having my lunch. And the fellow in New Zealand will be saying, I'm having dinner. Correct. How many of you got the example, please? Because they're all in different time zone. They're all in different time zone. Okay. Very nice. Correct. We got the perfect time to do the class. Okay. Here. We got the example also. See? We got it. So, this is how you calculate time. Very easy, right? It is very easy. So, if you know how to calculate this, we can easily discuss many questions on this. So, don't go by Google here. Don't Google, go by Google. Google is wrong on many ways. Okay. So, understand this concept here. Okay. Please don't go by the Google. Please don't know this. So please see here, here only I have written 15, 30, 45, 60, 75. Okay. Because the countries might choose different time zone depending upon their convenience. That is the reason it happens. But going by this rule, so here 930, not exactly London, but all the other places here along the line of London and GMT, we have 930 here. Okay. What if you are going westwards? I told you, if, whenever you're going west from any place, you subtract. East you add because east will be ahead, west will be behind. So what about New York? New York now. New York people will be here along 75 degree here. 75 degree here. 75 degree here. So from London, from London there will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 hours behind. That means 9.30 here. It will be 9.30 Friday, 9.30, 9th July, Friday here. So see. 8.30 here, 7.30, 6.30, 5.30, 4.30. It will be early morning now, 4.30 a.m. People in New York will be in bed. How many of you say agree? Early morning, 5.30 a.m. in New York. Sub so Okay. Friday, 9th July. 
early morning for them already we have finished this time we have finished this time already and we are here in the afternoon because we are ahead of them so now earth is rotating a little slowly for them it is 430 now okay i am taking one example today's example i am not taking some other example and teaching you right i am saying we are taking today's example shiva please wait i will give you the example wait wait for a while okay it will be fun wait for a while now further if i go to los angeles how many of you heard of los angeles hollywood los angeles it will come here exactly here 135 here 1 2 3 4 4 4 time zone here so if it is 430 here this is west coast of us it is following west coast of us time zone so 330 230 130 1230 here please write 1230 1230 am a day has just started friday has just started now friday 9th july has just started for them just started for them it is midnight midnight 1230 midnight 1230 further you come to here hawaii how many of you heard of hawaii hawaii pacific ocean it almost has 180 time zone here that means here further you go 3 hours 1130 1030 930 here 930 please see it is pm thursday thursday one day behind everyone so thursday 8th 8th july that means here hawaii people are in thursday now because they are almost away from other hemisphere other hemisphere here okay please remember this so if you have to check you check this london ka time 9:30 hai yahan pe so this is 12 hours behind so it will be 9:30 pm okay 9:30 pm here 12 hours difference should be there from here to here here also all of you got this from here to here is 12 hours time zone 12 time zones 12 hours difference should be there here also from here to here 12 hour time zone should be there difference should be there so if you come exactly 180 it will be 9:30 here exactly 9:30 9:30 pm okay 9:30 pm friday this side on the asia side it is friday on the american side it is thursday hawaii it is thursday okay so always remember eastern part will be ahead in time western part will be behind in time behind behind in time so please remember so this is very important topic so if i go from 0 degree to 180 there will be 12 hour difference if it is 9:30 am in london so it obviously it will be 180 me how much 9:30 pm okay 9:30 pm 12 hour difference always remember that so how many of you got this please copy this down please copy this down i know your doubt i know what you are thinking and what your doubt is give me 2 minutes once everybody copies i will tell you that once everybody copies this i will tell you what it is totally 24 time zone yes yes chetana 24 time zone shiv kumar i know your doubt you have to wait i will tell you that okay
So now, all of you take the globe. If you don't have the globe, see my globe here. I have a globe in my hand. I have a globe in my hand now. Please look at London. London here. Okay, this is London here. London here. So I'll I'll take the marker. I'll take the marker. I'll take the marker. Okay, one second. I'll get the marker. Give me two minutes. I'll come. So all of you can can you see the globe in my hand and a marker? On London, I am writing this line. See, I am marking a line here. I am marking the line. See, I am marking the line. What is the time here? London me nine thirty a.m. Friday. I am writing that. I am writing that nine thirty. See. I have written that nine thirty. The marker is uh, dull, but okay, it is writing. Okay, nine thirty a.m. Okay, this is zero degree, zero degree prime meridian. What is one eighty? One eighty is here opposite. Yeah, one eighty. I'll mark one eighty also with the line. I'll mark one eighty. Yeah, in Pacific Ocean. How many of you agree that Pacific Ocean will have one eighty? Pacific Ocean may come. Yes, see, the line will come in Pacific Ocean. Come in Pacific Ocean. Here the time is nine thirty p.m. Twelve hour difference. Twelve hour difference. I have written nine thirty p.m. You have to do this by a globe like this. Okay, so that you can use this by a globe. Okay, nine thirty. This is the experiment you have to do. Then only you will understand it completely. So geography practicals may we do this. We do all this experiments and all. Okay, I want you to do that now. So when you go to the market tomorrow, buy some atlas, buy buy one atlas, buy one globe and all if you don't have. Okay, or you take your football. You take the football in your hand if you have a football or volleyball. You ask your uh, friends to for the then write it on it. Okay, mark one side zero, other side one eighty. Zero degree. One eighty degree. Will you do this? Okay. Yes, one eighty degree. So one eighty degree will be passing through, uh, passing between Alaska and Russia. How many of you notice that? Alaska, USA, and Russia. Russia. Please check it out. Bering Strait. Bering Strait will come near one eighty degree. Notice that, please. Pacific Ocean, one eighty degree. Okay, now what is the time on the Asian side? Asian side, what is the day? Day is Friday here. Okay, all of you should do this experiment on the Asian side. On the Asian side, it is Friday. Please write Friday here. Friday and the very beginning. Friday. Asian side, it is Friday. Asia is this Friday, Friday, Friday. I have written see Friday. If I write Friday, I have written. Friday, Friday. What is the time on Hawaii? What is the date on day on Hawaii side? See this side. Hawaii is here. Hawaii. You can see Hawaii here. Pacific Ocean. Thursday. Can all of you see this Thursday, Friday, Thursday, nine thirty p.m. Friday, Thursday. That means if you go to one eighty degree, if you go to one eighty degree, exactly, it will change the day. That means Asian side will be Friday, the American side, this side will be Thursday, Thursday. So this line separate two dates, Friday, Thursday. Okay, Friday, Thursday. So that is the reason it's called as international date line. How many of you have understood this? So that is the reason 180 degree line is called as international date line. 
tell me if you have understood why it is called as ideal because this is the line 180 degree which separates two dates always it will separate one day from the other if it is friday here the other side will be thursday okay because it's a globe round 360 degree is there earth is rotating one side it is friday the other side will be thursday one day behind okay american side is one day behind asian side you remember that you can check it out here asian side is ahead friday american side is behind how many of you got it so that is the reason that 180 degree line is called as international date line have you heard of this international date line ha ah. so international date line so all of you check this the international date line is a very important line passing near pacific ocean now this line is a zigzag line all of you see this it is a zigzag line why it is zigzag because to avoid the land here to avoid the land land to avoid the land to avoid the land it is a zigzag line what happens if it passes through the land see this if this passes through the land here the people will have confusion ala so this side the people will say oh today is sunday this side they will say monday so that kind of confusion will be there so that is the reason international date line should always pass through ocean how many of you got the answer for this why is international date line a zigzag line why it should pass only through the ocean why it is avoiding the land because this international date line if it passes on the land there will be time confusion so it should pass through only ocean please got please understand this so international date line is 180 degree pacific ocean mein zigzag line zigzag line check this zigzag line in your atlas check this zigzag line in your atlas from the american side it is sunday asian side will be monday in this example in this example you can check in my example today's example i have taken friday thursday so it separates two dates so it is called as international date line so i'll repeat now i'll repeat now one by one pay attention exactly 180 degree passes through pacific ocean pacific ocean this is the line where the two dates are separated asian side is always ahead whereas american side is behind okay asian side is one day ahead and american side is behind it is separated by this line so it is called as international date line in our example class example friday and thursday we have got this friday and thursday okay friday and th thursday that means if it is 9th july here it will be 8th july here 8th july thursday okay 9th july this side 8th july here thursday one it separate two dates it separate two dates so it is called as international date line if this line passes through any land there will be confusion among the people so it should pass through ocean that is the reason it is a zigzag line how many of you understood now i have repeated this all of you check it out in your atlas check out international date line all of you check out the international date line it is avoiding the land can i say international date line is close to 180 degree it is a zigzag line to avoid confusion we have marked it like this it passes through bering strait bering strait here i know many students will feel difficult but you pay attention you will understand this is not a rocket science correct so i'll give you my example okay so that will make uh, it bit fun i'll tell you what i did so notice this here fiji how many of you heard of fiji fiji ha huh. so 2019 mein 2019 2020 i was here i was here working in pacific ocean okay so here what i was doing i was working on marine biology so we were working on the marine species here sea otters we were working on it so it was uh, new year so new year january 1st we we celebrated the new year here when it is january 1st year it will be december 31st this side how many of you got the example here in fiji if it is january 1st this side will be december 31st alwa so we had a very nice party here beach party here fiji i had lot of fun then after uh, this we took a boat speed boat 
ఆఫ్టర్ ద పార్టీ నెక్స్ట్ డే నెక్స్ట్ డే జనవరి ఫస్ట్ వీ ట్రావెల్ జస్ట్ సైడ్ వీ ట్రావెల్ టువర్డ్స్ ద అదర్ సైడ్ హియర్ వీ హ్యావ్ అమెరికన్ సమూహ ఐలాండ్ కాల్ అమెరికన్ సమూహ in to the hotel on the island called samoha american samoha so there the, the person who took our passport details and all who gave us the room he registered at december 31st okay that means already i was celebrating this december 31st january 1st i have celebrated a new year so i have crossed this line now so when i cross this line i have gained one day now by staying here i'll be able to celebrate the new year again so i celebrated the new year again here so all of you got it if a person is traveling from asian side to american side he will gain a day gain a day and when i come back when i return back i'll get compensated for whatever gain i have I, I, i will gain i'll get compensated okay all of you please understand from asian side to american side if i cross the international date line if i cross the international date line i'll gain a day gain a day okay please remember please remember this yeah so january 1st if i cross december 31st i'll get i can stay here celebrate the new year again okay by the end december evening there will be a party right so like that new year party again like that so you can understand this upsc asked this question let's say you want to celebrate your anniversary or birthday you should go here you should go here so when you go here you can celebrate your anniversary first this side and cross the line again you can celebrate all of you got it because once you celebrate it on 9th if you cross to 8th side again after 8 will come 9 ala you can celebrate it again so upsc question has been like they, they have asked the question on this along which line you can celebrate the same date twice along international date line near here we can celebrate the same date twice okay please remember this please remember this so again let's say you are here i'll give you another example let's say you are here on december 31st side here i will forcefully send you this side what happens when you come this side they will say it is january 1st that means you are lost today lost today correct if you move from asian side to american side you will gain if you move from american side to asian side you lose you lose a day okay lose a day so don't worry when you come to the campus also i will explain this this is a very funny example i have given you okay so remember this okay you gain when you move from asia to american side on the international date line when you move from american side to asian side you lose because of the dates are like this okay with the help of globe you will understand easily instead of map do that experiment i said here on the globe see here to here i will travel so this side so here if i send you this side we losing the day <laughs> what happens to a person who's back the day will get compensated whatever gain he has got he'll get compensated when he comes back so got it this is time zone this is time zone no no it is not like history not going backward it's just one day chetana it is just one day when you travel east from american asian to america and american back to asia you get compensated it is just a date change that occurs not the year itself right it is just a date change that occurs we are getting the point right it is just a brief event one day loss one day gain that's it it is all just a calendar date concept what happens when you cross a line because that line is considered as a standard for calculating the day asian side will be ahead american side will be behind that's the concept you have to remember all if you got this so this is an example uh, map varun don't worry don't take it uh, okay on the face value it is just an example but international date line you check okay 
so we have covered a very interesting and very important topic time zone topic friends okay we'll stop now tomorrow's class will continue remember we were discussing ncrt class 6th ncrt we have completed the chapter map page number is uh, 104 i guess 104 please draw this on your map your map that is given to you in the class telegram group take a print out practice okay have a nice day all of you thank you we'll meet tomorrow we'll meet tomorrow till then study well tomorrow we'll re revise this topic okay we'll revise this and we'll continue thank you thank you very much